All right. In this video, I'll give you uh, three questions that you guys have asked me. Don't mind my my voice. It's my throat is sore. Okay. And you can let me know after watching this video or during this video, do you think I was audible? Was I clear or not? Okay. So the first question that everyone has been asking me is about Greta Thunberg and my opinion about her going to Davos and was the arrest, was it staged? That's number one. Number two is uh, electric cars and Elon Musk with Twitter, why that is a failure. And I'll give you my reasons for that. And uh, the third one is about India being in a recession or uh, and also Modi coming back in power. Will it happen? Should you leave India? Yes or no? I'll give you the answers to all these three. Uh, put your comments down below and let me know. Okay. So let's start first with Greta Thunberg. Uh, see, uh, think just simple common sense. Simple common sense. How old is Greta Thunberg? 20 years old. 20, 2, 0. From where does a... From where does a 20-year-old have the money to fly down to Davos? If I tell you go to Davos, you have money? Okay. One is, you need money. Second one is, being 20-year-old, what is the job of a 20-year-old? We are supposed to work and earn money to take care of our future, our career. You have to earn money, right? You have to study, right? I don't think Greta Thunberg is studying at all, given all this that she's doing. Neither do I think she's doing anything for her career. In fact, uh, I don't know how she's even earning any money. And I don't think she's bothered about all this because I'm pretty sure there are some rich sponsors. Her mother's an actress and father is also the same. They, they get enough and more. So she's just following instructions. Now, let's keep all this aside. Now, here's a bigger question. Greta Thunberg went to protest coal miners and Davos and all that stuff, whatever. Okay. Now the question is, um, now she did that, so what happened? Did uh, Germany, did it say, okay, let's stop the coals, finish. Did uh, the Countries in all the world say, okay, let's stop polluting the environment. Did anything happen other than publicity for Greta Thunberg herself? What? The protest that she gave and... So, what, what did it solve? I'm asking, what did it solve? Did it solve anything by constantly... Coming in front of the camera, media, getting likes, followers, sponsors. How is it solving anything for the world? And one final thing. This, uh, the police stood with her, took photograph. Is it staged or not? Personally, personally, I, I, I don't think it was staged. At the same time, I don't think it was anything serious. I am very sure the police commissioner or the politicians told them, see, listen, she is a very beloved figure. She is famous. She is only a small girl, 20. Don't use force. Don't break her arm or do anything like where she will show marks. Be gentle with her. Treat her nicely. And just... Show that we arrest protesters. That's it. So that is why it looked like uh, it looked like uh, like it was staged. Because when you are in the public spotlight, the last thing you want is negative publicity. That's the same thing with Andrew Tate. When Andrew Tate got arrested, they didn't you know catch his neck and put him on the floor and just held his hand. And people who want to take photographs took. So it looks staged. I don't think it's staged. So, and one final thing as a bonus. 
until now what practical solution has greta thunberg giving the world which she herself follows give me one answer does she say put off electricity and does she do it does she live in a poor natural forest or does she live in a nice luxurious place even traveling she travels like a vip so what has she sacrificed that she is asking the world to sacrifice see for example if i tell you let's we need to stop climate you know destroying the climate stop using your gas stop using electricity stop using the internet let's save will you do it you'll say listen you idiot if you want to do it you do it so tell me which country is doing it countries have to survive first we have to earn our livelihood not listen to some 20 year old lecturing us on a script that is given to her by the marketing department of a political party stupid man look she is in germany she is protesting about davos and all that because she knows that will add value to her brand that will give her publicity and that will make her famous she is doing it for her brand her uh, political agenda and she is a politician by now and she makes good money so she is doing what floats her boat she is not doing for you and me okay that's number 1 number 2 about uh, elon musk why elon musk twitter and his electric cars are a failure and i'll tell you why electric cars is a failure also now first thing Do you have an electric car? I'm sure you don't. Do you know people who have an electric car? Anyone? Your friends? No. Now, obviously, if I say you know somebody online, maybe you'll find one guy. I have two, three of my clients who have. Okay. But now, do you know what are the challenges for an electric car? That's one. Do you know how much money? Okay, you can find out the cost. Do you know how much it takes to maintain? Do you know what are the limitations? In fact, do you know this the biggest one? If there is no charging station, you are limited in so many ways. If uh, one part of the Tesla or the electric car spoil one part, you have to take it only to a Tesla or to that uh, works uh, that brand where they are registered, and they will remove the whole part. and that cost much more than just replacing one part they remove the whole thing and you cannot touch software you cannot touch anything i'm not saying it's a bad piece of machinery <clears throat> it's a very expensive piece and biggest question that i want to ask you do you know how batteries are made are you aware did you do some research how batteries are made you are harming the environment taking batteries and do you know how long a battery lasts and do you know after a battery is used it adds more to the pollution than less simple questions huh? in fact here's a even bigger question people are talking about solar wind water energy and all that from 50 years why nobody has embraced it if it is such a great technology because i'll give you the answer the roi return on investment is one of the worst it's not reliable it's not practical it's not doable so they'll just show some gimmick you can check for failed projects even in us there is one in the desert where they build one crystal the thing and all solar panels it was a billion dollar loss and they just dumped it the materials the engineering the professionals the technology is so expensive and the returns are very bad my question to you is if you if i tell you stop electricity normal put everything solar and wind it will cost you 20 times more plus it will cost you double every month yeah you will save electricity but you have to pay for maintenance all that would you do it 
and if anything spoils you have to change the whole thing what happened to elon musk solar city and google search no what happened to solar city nothing remember he had guaranteed that by 2024 uh, there would be a tesla from here to another country you could just talk to it it'll drive what happened to that he had made so many promises in fact remember he said uh, colonize people on the moon make a colony on the moon remember he said uh, that boring underground uh, the thing it'll travel 0 to 100 in some few seconds one second to say you can reach from here to there what happened to all this promise to see all big talk right forget all that here's the best question of all how is this management of twitter <laughs> i told you that time teaching on old dog new tricks will not work a brand that is already established rechanging the culture with some uh, thing that is hardcore like uh, spacex and all that this is a social media company where people give opinions where people simply waste time talking garbage who the hell is interested it's not going to change the world agree when i go to twitter now there's lot more fighting uh, some spicy content and drama but majority of the sponsors are pulled out how can you make a company survive if no no advertisers are paying is still cutting down employees anyway last question about uh, india you are asking me about uh, india and recession and modi and will he come in power <laughs> if you are asking me if is india in recession then you are uh, i don't know which world are you living in is india in a recession is india in a inflation i mean i am staying i am staying in thailand and i am telling you, you want me to tell you being in thailand about india anyway since you ask me i'll tell you india inflation has hit nothing is cheaper okay you compare the prices of anything from before it's always going higher and higher so inflation is always a constant there has never been the case where oh petrol is half price oh guess what onions are selling for 10% oh we are getting this free no there's nothing okay the the gap between the rich and the poor has increased so much i i don't know which channel i heard this it seems that uh, people are buying luxury cars the rolls royce and the high end where you have to pay 50% 60% extra tax the highest number has sold in india while cheap scooters for middle class families is hit a record low so that means the gap between the rich and the poor is going even worse that means many middle class people are now finding it hard to manage day to day expense and that is why many people are leaving india because survival is become very hard it's not that india doesn't have opportunities it's not that india doesn't have jobs but surviving in india earning in rupees is a highly competitive and extremely difficult thing like for example in dubai if you have for one position 100 people will apply in india for that one position forget 100 forget 1000 10000 maybe more will apply it's crazy but you know then when you are talking of a large number of people how do you survive either contacts connections corruption or last if not the least luck you can pray to all the gods so there is a recession in india but it's not like major like in uk but it is affecting the middle class and uh, inflation is always a constant 
you'll never get anything cheaper than what you got from yesterday. And last but not the least about BJP coming in power, I definitely do not see any other political party. Yeah, Rahul Gandhi can walk as much as he likes and grow his beard as much as he likes. Uh, both of them are, is like choosing the same thing. Rahul Gandhi is not going to make a spectacular change. The problem is they are not giving space for new leaders to come forward. And the second one is, Modi has already made sure he and his BJP have tied lots of loose ends and have a lot of sponsors and a lot of people who will donate to him. And they have a very big budget. They can buy and sell off lots of politicians, lots of voters. I don't see anyone touching Modi, at least for the next election. After Modi goes, there'll be a change of guard. But until then, as long as Modi is there, or there should be a new leader who comes, which is even hard, or there should be a coalition between two enemies and Modi should make a very big mistake, big blunder, big blunder, where the electorate or the people who are voting, they say enough of this, we can't take it anymore. Until then, I doubt because the hardline Hindus and uh, BJP supporters, they just love this guy too much. He's, he's a strong leader. He's a very strong leader. He cannot be touched. You might hate him. You might not like his policies. But I'll tell you, for the rich, he's very good for the rich. And that is where it matters the most because they give him a lot of money. And with this money, he keeps many people happy. So anyway, this is my opinion on these three topics. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, was it audible with my voice? You guys take care. This is me signing off. Ciao.